and Inkling. Wow, this is going to be an interesting matchup. So um, for Inkling and Yoshi, I'd expect Inkling to have a little bit more of a upper hand here, only because um, Inkling can dash in and out and under, you know, Yoshi's um, eggs and whatnot. So definitely interesting to see this matchup. But already we can see that um, you know, Dave Create is actually trying to space out with backer a lot, as you know, Inkling do. Just trying to, um, you know, kind of get a little bit of intro going. But yeah. Yeah, I would contradict ever so slightly because Inkling can have Inkling can have trouble with characters that have big buttons, especially out of hit stun. And her combo game is less true combos and more just long strings that she can follow and solid frame traps. Yoshi can ignore a lot of that with his double jump armor starting on frame one and just having these big frame three nares. Which is why we see Dave just kind of uh, very rigidly spacing out with backer until he finds that proper starter. But it really, the ball is almost always going to be in Dave Create's court to actually do something about the general Yoshi game plan. And PC is just not going to let anything work twice. As and our yeah. <laughs> getting that first stock, um, PC Ninja. Already just taking the lead, so let's see. Um, definitely, I'm expecting them to more so be very careful about how they get more of their damage and not die to an up smash. Very nice though, coming in from Dave Create, just getting in that up smash, making this very even. You know, not really seeing too much of an upper hand from anyone in this matchup. And not as if yet, but these rollers that are hit stun ever dangerous. But if you don't do anything about them, then I mean. Dave will keep landing with these massive hitboxes that can, <laughs> as we saw there. But PC Ninja, this is looking looking mighty good for him. And the closer, yeah, very good forward air, just running off stage and saying, "Hey, I know that I can, I know I can clash with basically whatever Inkling wants to recover." And oh, the damage is gonna keep on coming. Good match to get out. Only 51 at this point, and Yoshi can certainly put it on if they find. The, if they find the proper opening, yeah, like it's it's really on Dave in a lot of instances where he he commonly will mash a uh, a hitbox out of hit stun and try to come out swinging, but it's so hard to contest Yoshi in mid air because of his uh, big aerials and incredibly fast speed. It's definitely especially a little bit hard to actually kill Yoshi sometimes, um, specifically talking about just like how Yoshi chooses to get around, especially when coming back from, you know, um, off stage and whatnot. So definitely good coming in, getting that um, last stock coming from Dave Create. Um, but Dave is actually going to have to be a little bit careful because as we were seeing, um, you know, Dave is kind of landing very poorly. And um, that's probably something that they're going to have to look um, out for before they actually um, might lose this set due to it. Yeah, I mean, we can never sleep on Inkling's own damage output, but it's it's possibly these that can be troublesome because Yoshi just has so many, like, raw, powerful kill buttons and, and the confirms to keep up with Inkling's uh, more passive neutral. These eggs are certainly not helping either because they just get, they just seem to be getting in the way. That was almost an up smash. I 100% I will tell you that he was looking for up smash at that moment, but... Still, good, uh, good resolve on PC Ninja's part to to keep it, keep the keep the pace of the game in his favor, even if he does go on stage and uh, relinquish stage control. There it is. And that's gonna take the first game. Definitely good coming in from PC Ninja. Just really making good use of his ability to kind of catch landings and whatnot, because that's exactly where Dave actually struggled the most with um, towards the later half of that game. Yeah, we'll have to see the adjustments that come out for uh, Dave Create, and we do know that they have been working on a an, an Aegis, the Pirate and Mithra, which, hey, big sword like that, a lot of really fast buttons, or powerful ones, depending on how you feel. Uh, it didn't sound like he left the arena, though, so it might just be your run back. Yeah, he's just rolling with the inkling. Absolutely, both characters can go bird, just which one you know, they actually love to do it with, so um, for sure. Definitely hoping to see some major adjustments. Already just kind of taking a little bit of a slower start. Um, just trying their best to be very careful about how they actually want to go about this matchup. They 
don't want to do anything too brash when landing it, as we said. Um, but definitely for sure, definitely need to um, take a little bit more of a different approach to this game before um, they start just, you know, spiraling out of control. It's, I mean, it's really, it's really gonna be like, how reserved can can David be? Because he, 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 you can create, you can do a lot with a lot of openings when you're inkling, and if you get opportunities like that, all the all the better. But inkling just natively can struggle so hard to try and uh, close out stocks early that you're playing this really tense game, and Yoshi feed, will feed right into that. Like living at 87 right now, like he's, like he is perfectly fine. And BC Ninja really looks at it because he's not really worried about stage stage control all that much. He knows how wide PS2 can be, and he's just been flying up and down throughout the air. And that quick back air confirm will will catch Dave yet again. Three different back air hits and three different uh, three different finishers. It's been really on point when landing. Uh, when landing those, and will Dave be no good mash on PC Ninja's part? It's coming down. But yeah, honestly, what it's looking like is that um, you know, Dave is actually going to need to be a little bit. Um, wow, very nice mash they're coming in from them. But yeah, honestly, they're going to need to be very careful because honestly, the thing about killing is that yes, you can you know have a problem killing because I do know for sure that Inklings do struggle with killing sometimes. But, you know, stuff like that doesn't really matter when you can actually win neutral most of the time and just make it not really much of an issue to actually just have killing. Um, you know, you'll kill when you actually get the chance and working on those defensive options actually makes it easier to um, kind of point out your aggressor's aggressive options. And I completely agree, but the, the issue where it comes with this is, uh, I mean, PC Ninja has the lead right now. He can start pecking away with eggs and playing a more stage-centric game if he ever chooses to. So, these rollers certainly aren't helping as long as he's playing around these platforms. The cross-up! Oh, he's... <laughs> these backers have been so good for PC Ninja. Just coming through and getting so many different... so much advantage off of landing a backer on shield that... Like, Dave keeps getting with hit, hit with something different every time it, it uh... Every time back air ends, lands its, uh, lands its mark. Solid dash attack. Oh, this combo keeps going. He does not have a jump. 61. Like, it was nothing. Couple just snares. making this. Yeah, oh, honestly, yeah. just making this leap just go off because, you know, David hasn't been actually able to do anything this, like, whole entire stock. So I wouldn't be surprised to see if we actually get a stock coming in from PC Ninja. Yeah, it's it's a bit of a rough spot, especially since Inkling cannot rely on uh, the grab confirms at this percent. Like grabs are great and all, but without that potential kill setup, oh no! I like the idea though. <laughs> it was cheeky, but it's something that you can go for on a on a recovery without a direct hitbox like uh, like Inklings. But still, we're gonna see this stock get closed out relatively soon, uh, barring. A massive shift in momentum. You know, honestly, for sure, you know, PC Ninja already can kind of just stop, or, um, kind of understand that Dave actually wants to get this up smash because even if they, you know, don't really get this two stock, they get, you know, just one stock, you know, and. Yeah, that's a good trade. That's a really good trade on PC Ninja's part. Just raw up air, see what you do. If you're going to keep jumping and back airing, like, he, he's parried it. He's punished it out of shield, and then he anti-aired it. So there was, if you can counter one of, if not the best tool in Inkling's arsenal, you're feeling pretty good about your chances. I mean, honestly, PC Ninja really just showed us that you don't even need to parry. You just need a really good up smash. <laughs> wow. Wait, that was up, sure, up air. That looks like yeah. up smash. No. Yeah, it's raw up air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. It's, um, I mean, Yoshi's up there is crazy, so why not try to do it more? See? I, guess I mean, even better. Good move out of 10. <laughs> even better move than up smash, honestly. Probably, yeah. Though I promise you, Yoshi up smash does not have a sour spot. It does, but it doesn't. It does, but it doesn't when it does if it does. Exactly. Right? I'm glad you agree. 
<laughs> I, I don't know, that's my language, sorry. <laughs> Alright, yeah, that's, gonna, sure. that's mm -hmm. gonna be PC Ninja, then fighting their way into Winner's Quarters. As oh, we'll yeah. be getting, uh, what we'll be getting next? So let's find out. We'll have to see who is...